Welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a trip to the vibrant flavors of Persia with a dish that's fit for a king or a queen. We will be making Persian roasted chicken with cherry saffron rice. Today I am participating in a collaboration with other cooking creators that are making recipes that are from Iran or otherwise known as Persia. You'll be able to find their links in the description below. Be sure and try them all out. Now Persia's foods are known for their flavors and this dish is no exception with the tender juicy chicken and the lemon and cumin and saffron flavors and oh the aromic rice with tart cherries, almonds and saffron. So let's not waste time. Let's get started on this amazing meal. Okay, let's start with a bowl and we're going to take one onion that's been chopped, add it to the bowl, about two tablespoons of oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. One teaspoon of cumin. Now I have here a half a teaspoon of saffron that's been crushed. I'm going to use half of it in this bowl. Mm, I love saffron. Okay, and then uh, some salt and pepper to taste. I'll suggest start with a half a teaspoon of the salt and an eighth a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, now let's add our chicken breast. You can use thighs, breast, uh, whole pieces of chicken. I should, probably should have stirred that up first. Let's stir it now. And we're gonna wanna coat our chicken in this. I've got three chicken breasts here. This is equal to about three pounds of meat, two and a half to three. And I did pat my chicken breast dry before putting them in here. We just wanna make sure and get those coated well. Now I'm gonna set these aside for about one hour. Now I've put two cups of water in a saucepan. We're gonna start making our rice. We're gonna use basamati rice. Basamati, I'm not sure I say it right, but it's an Indian rice. And I have taken one cup of rice and I have rinsed it and drained it. And I'm gonna bring my water to a boil and I'm gonna add this to the water. Now let's add some salt to our water. And what we're gonna do is partially cook this rice. Wanna cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes, just before it's completely cooked, because we're gonna be cooking it further later on. And I don't remember if I said, but that was one cup of rice. Now at this point, it would be a good time to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now my rice is coming to a boil, so I'm going to cover it and turn the heat down and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll check it at about the 10 minute point to see how well done it is. Okay, now we want to take a baking dish or roasting dish and we're going to Take our chicken out of the juices. We want to scrape the onions off. Make sure I get these onions off. Okay, most of them. The last one's going to be a little harder. And then let's add a half a cup of water. And we want to cover this 
If your baking dish, roasting dish doesn't have a cover, just use foil. And we're gonna put this in the 375 Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. Now my chicken is boneless, so mine will probably be finished at 20 minutes. I will check it with the thermometer. However, if you have bones in your chicken, you will probably want to go on and take the cover off and cook it even longer. So let's put it in the oven and let it get started and we'll check it at 20 minutes. Now in a small skillet, take two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna melt that. Now if you've noticed the greenery I have here on the side, that is Swiss chard. And I'm going to be serving Swiss chard with my dinner tonight. It's very easy to cook. I remove the, the center stems, cut them into small pieces, saute them with olive oil and onions and garlic, and then I add chicken broth and tear these leaves in, and within 15 minutes we've got a delicious granary to add to our meal, and so healthy. Okay, our butter's melting nicely. I have here a half a cup of tart cherries. Now, these have been sweetened. If your tart cherries have not been sweetened, add one or two tablespoons of sugar to this, and we're going to stir them up and mix them up here, and we want that sugar to dissolve that you add. This will help plump those cherries up. Isn't this gonna taste good? Well, these are gonna be going into our rice. I've never made Persian recipes before. I had a friend from Iran many years ago that served me dinner at her home and the food was delicious. So I know I really enjoy the flavors and textures they cook with. Saffron being one of my favorites. Okay, once your sugar's dissolved, let's set this aside for a little bit later. Now my rice has cooked for about 10, 12 minutes and it's not completely cooked but it's close to being finished. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna drain it through this colander. And now I'm gonna add my rice back into the pan. Okay, now take the remainder of that saffron and a tablespoon of water and mix that up until it dissolves. Okay, it's not totally dissolved, but I think that's what the recipe meant. By the way, I got this recipe from a chef in Louisville, Kentucky. I cannot remember the name of the restaurant, but he was the chef. And I've just changed it up just a little bit here we go. Let's add it to our rice. Get all of that saffron in there. Don't want to waste any of this expensive spice. Okay, and let's stir that in. Now take a baking dish and coat the baking dish with butter, or I'm going to do oil with mine. And then spoon about a third of your rice on the bottom. Ooh, I probably should have used a smaller dish, but this will work. <laughs> and now let's spoon some half of our almonds onto this. I have a fourth a cup of slivered almonds. And then half of our cherries. with another third. Now the other thing is I cut my recipe in half. So if I'd had a full size recipe of making four cups of rice, this would have maybe fit better in this pan, but I didn't. So rather than this being the second third, it's almost all of it. I'll leave some though to put on top of the next batch. Okay. Let's put the rest of the almonds. This is a reminder. Check the chicken. Now Alexa's reminding me to check the chicken. This is a reminder. So it's been 20 minutes. 
And so I'll check the t internal temperature to make sure it's 160, 165. Okay, let's spoon the rest of the cherries over. Now let's spoon out the rest of the rice. It's supposed to be covering that. So we don't have enough left to do that. So I'll just do the best I can with what I've got. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's going to taste good, even though it's not technically correct. Okay, now let's pour the rest of that butter that was in the skillet with the cherries. Pour it over top of the rice. Now what you want to do is cover this dish. And if you don't have a cover for your baking dish, put foil over it and bake it for 20 minutes in the same oven with the chicken. Now my chicken had not reached 165 degrees internal temperature, so I've taken the cover off and I'm going to continue to cook it. Now my chicken has reached 165 internal temperature and what I wanna do is take a broiler rack and put my chicken breast on that rack and we're gonna brown them under the broiler for just a few minutes just to get a nice golden brown color on these. And we're going to save these juices to pour over top our chicken and rice. They're going to be very tasty. Okay, let's put this under the broiler. Wow, does that look good? Let's pour some of these juices from the chicken onto our chicken and rice. Um, why don't we give this a try? Uh, let's see, how am I going on? Let's give a bite of the chicken. Mmm, it's very tasty. I really taste the saffron and the cumin. Yes, let's try this rice. Put some cherries and almonds. Mmm, I've never had anything like this. I really like it. The sweetness of the cherries and the crunch of the almonds. Nice nutty flavor to the rice. Mmm, that's a great combination. And I can taste the saffron in the rice too. This is a delicious meal. You're going to have to give it a try, as well as try the other collaborators' recipes. You remember, they're in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please come back and join me again. Think about subscribing and give me a like. And of course, please make comments, chat with me. I love hearing from you. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.